Now to the Women's League and Frio midfielder Tia Haynes is from WA Footy Royalty related to legend Polly Farmer and her dad John played some top footy with Perth Demons in the WAFL. So when the Dockers struggled in their AFLW season opener against the Bulldogs, Haynes was heartbroken and is now determined to live up to family standards this Sunday. Destined to become part of the game. Growing up, Tia Haynes tailed her dad every weekend at the WAFL. Yeah, I was always that annoying little kid, I guess, um, wanting to get in the change rooms with them. And as he was a coach and stuff, I was always the one that wanted to put their hand up to run water. But yeah, it's always been around and I've always wanted to live the dream of it. Listing legends like Polly Farmer and Mark Choco Williams in her family tree, Haynes was devastated when her turn to create history didn't go to plan. And the dogs win. I was pretty heartbroken. I managed to hold the emotions in until I seen my brother and sister in the crowd. The emotions started to flow and I think seeing everyone else so upset as well, it really, it really hit home. The Dockers were tipped by many punters as the team to beat, but managing only one goal against the Bulldogs wasn't the result they were expecting. It was a big shock, I guess, to us and it's really, it was a really tough game. We were pretty disappointed that we only scored one goal. We, we missed our conversions when the ball was in the Ford 50. This Sunday, their chance for redemption. Lighting up against the Lions at Fremantle Oval. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm pretty sure my family are all pretty pumped as well. It's just something that we're all looking forward to and having the, the support that we, we obviously didn't get over there. Rock Susie Chott will be up for selection, passing the concussion test after being knocked out in the second quarter last week. Dual Olympian Kim Mickle also in the mix, returning from a hip injury, while defender Ebony Antonio will watch from the stands, suspended for rough conduct. We're in AFL now, so that's something that we've got to be, got to be focused on and make sure that we're not doing silly things like that. The Dockers are expecting nearly 10,000 fans to attend their first home game. Jess Kiley, 10 Eyewitness News.